Energy Bagua Aerobics. Let's start to practice Energy Bagua Aerobics. Let's do warm up exercises first. Feet shoulder width apart. Prepare for side stretch. Stretch your left hand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, two, three, four. Prepare for chest expansion. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four. Prepare for high knees. Right leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kick back. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put your right leg back for lunges. Try to keep your hind leg straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hind legs half step forward. Sit back and raise your toes. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your hind legs half step forward. Sit back and raise your toes. Prepare to rotate wrists and ankles. Rotate your left first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, two, three, four, five. Prepare to do Settle Chi three times. First time. Settle Chi to your lower abdomen. Second time. Legs slightly bent. Third time. Five, six, seven, eight. Get ready for the first set of movements. Punch and kick. Bring back your right leg and punch with right hand. One, two, three, four. Use force from your back when punching. The back drives the arms to exert force. Five, six, prepare to switch. Switch, left punch, right punch, kick. Exert force from your back. Seven, eight, harder. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prepare for archery exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring back your right leg. Three, turn left. Five, six, back, eight. Pull back with force. Three, turn right. Five, six, back, eight. Use force from both arms. Three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, turn left. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, turn right. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three, turn. Five, six, Seven, eight. Prepare for knee strikes. Right knee first. One, two, three, four. Hands and knee exert force simultaneously. Pull with force. Three, four, five. Prepare to switch sides. Switch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Use your core to exert force. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Prepare for Move the Mountain. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. To the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use your core power to push out. Three, to the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use Hung Ha to exert Chi. Three, to the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Open up your entire body. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Keep upper body straight when pushing out. To the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Use force from core to push palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Get ready for the second set of movements. Great job! Do punch and kick. Bring back your right leg and punch with right hand. One, two, three, four. Use force from your back when punching. Harder. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Prepare to switch. Switch. Left punch. Right punch. Kick. Exert force from your back. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prepare to do archery exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. Right leg step back. Three, turn left. Five, six, back, eight. Pull back with force. Three, turn right. Five, six, back, eight. Use force from both arms. Three, turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Keep your core stable. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Open up your chest and meridians. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Harder. Three. Turn. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Seven. Two. Three. Turn. Five. Six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three. Turn. Five, six, seven, eight. You're awesome! Prepare for knee strike. Right knee first. One, two, three, four. Hands and knee exert force simultaneously. Use your core to exert force. Three, Four, five, six, prepare to switch. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go prepare again. for move the mountain. Five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, to the right. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, right leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Use your core power to push out. Three, to the left. Ho! Six, seven, eight. Push your palms. Three, left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Eight. Use Hung Ha to exert Chi. Three. To the right. Ho! Six. Seven. Eight. Open up your entire body. Three. Right leg forward. Ha! Six. Seven. Eight. Keep upper body straight when pushing out. To the left. Ho! Six. Seven. Eight. Use your core power to push out. Three. Left leg forward. Ha! Six, seven, eight. Well done, everyone. Great job! Get ready for relaxation.
Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Exhale. Move arms back in circular motions. Right hand first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move to the front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Arm stretch. Stretch the right shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Three, four, five, six. Put right hand on left shoulder and look back. Relax lower back. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Try to look back. Five, six. Put your right leg back for lunges. Try to keep your hind leg straight. Five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Two, three, four. Prepare to shake your hands and feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Today's Energy Bagua Aerobics has been completed. I wish you all health and happiness. Till next time. Master Jin Bodhi's Golden Words. The best time to plan the year is spring. The best time to plan the day is dawn. If we recite Master Jin Bodhi's Golden Words every morning, we'll be full of energy, confidence, creativity, vitality, and infinite charisma for the entire day. Everything will be transformed. Please recite them aloud. I am most compassionate. I am most confident. I am most tolerant. I am most courageous. I am most trustworthy. I am most punctual. I can do anything. I am full of wisdom. I am most knowledgeable. I love to read. I love to observe. I love to listen. I love to think. I take decisive action. I am a gem of the universe. I am most charming. I am most talented. I sing most beautifully. I like challenges. I am most accountable. I will fulfill my life purpose. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. In heaven and on earth, I am supreme. Please sit down slowly. Relax your body and mind. 
Remain calm and relaxed. Listen carefully. Treat the world with kindness. When you see people who need help, help them. Your actions should cause you to feel moved. Make a habit of helping others. Part 2 I've told this story about a hotel receptionist many times. It was snowing heavily. The roads were all covered in snow. At midnight, the hotel was full. Many people were waiting for a vacant room. People stayed in the hotel because they couldn't drive home. At midnight, an old couple came in. They came in with a burst of extremely cold air. Can we get a room? We're freezing to death. Sorry, sir, they're all taken. Then what should we do? Can we sleep on the lobby bench? The receptionist pitied the old couple. They looked older than his parents. The receptionist wanted to help. Do you mind spending the night in my room? Unless you dislike it because it's a little dirty. It's a bit messy and dirty, and the bed's a single. The old man really wanted his wife to have a place to rest. He said, yes, all we want is a room. So the old couple slept a night in the staff room. A couple months later, a luxurious car appeared at the hotel. An elegantly dressed man stepped out of it. He was a messenger of a wealthy man in the town. He was there to invite the receptionist to his boss's place. Me? Did I cause a problem? Don't worry, it's a friendly meeting. I must be lucky today. Lady Luck's been watching me. Can you believe this? Is this a prank or what? He was surprised to find the beautiful mansion was owned. by the old couple whom he'd served during the snowy night. The old couple offered him a position. He'd become the general manager of the hotel owned by the couple. The old couple thought he might lack management skills, but he had the kindness to look after every guest. He was the best candidate for the position. Many hotels failed because they lacked thoughtfulness. They could have the best interior design and hire many employees. But they couldn't survive because their services lacked thoughtfulness. Like I said, he became the general manager of a hotel owned by the couple. His net worth grew to about a hundred million. A small deed of kindness can bring a massive return of merits. If you sow kindness, you receive kindness in return. This is a great and moving story. Treat the world with kindness. When you see people who need help, help them. Your actions should cause you to feel moved. When learning to be more compassionate, we often think, What will I get if I help him? Or we think, why should I lend him my money? When you see a homeless person, you think, that's not my problem. 
Before we try to help somebody, we start calculating. We calculate our loss and gain before helping others. What are my benefits? This is very common. We weigh up what we get. Some help only because the person they're helping is good looking. Some only help people who are rich. Some only help people who have a rich father or influential family members. Then, after helping others, you think that they owe you, so you ask them to return your favor later. We often think, why help someone? Should I help? If yes, then how much? We often think this whenever we provide financial help. Is this right or wrong? It's neither right nor wrong. Critical and logical thinking make us human. It shows that you're actually smart. However, being smart doesn't mean you're wise. Being wise doesn't mean you're compassionate. Remember that. Being smart doesn't mean you're wise. And being wise doesn't mean you're compassionate. We never thought about this, did we? We thought wisdom makes us compassionate, and with wisdom we can do anything because we're so smart. No, these three things aren't equal. When you help others, don't help because they look good. Or because they're influential. You might be disappointed in the end. You helped a beautiful woman because of her beauty. How will you feel when you find out she looked good because of heavy makeup? So, never help because someone is pretty or their family is influential. You'll feel cheated and disappointed if the outcome isn't what you expect. So do you still help? Yes, we help out of kindness and compassion. We still need to judge whether we should help someone. If I saw a drug addict, I wouldn't help. If you helped them by giving them money, they'd spend it on drugs. Under normal circumstances, just lend a helping hand. If you have only $1,000 and you give all your $1,000 to a beggar on the roadside, this is overdoing it and not wise. You're going to become a beggar yourself. This is not compassion but foolishness. We help within our capability. Remember that. You can help however you want. You can offer money, knowledge, skills, or guidance. When we've helped more people, we'll have the wisdom to use more ways to help people. Compassion is the reason we help others. With our experience, we select the best way to help. This is what experts do. Still, compassion is why we help others. Don't think too much about how much we should help. As long as you've lent a helping hand, it's good enough. Stillness taken to the extreme becomes motion. Beauty taken to the extreme creates sorrow. Resonance of heaven, earth, and human. My master once told me that I shouldn't be afraid. He said, look at all the stars in the Milky Way. There are so many stars, countless stars, right? The number of stars in the heavens equals the number of people on earth. If you look at stars closely on a clear night, 
you'll see layer upon layer of stars. Endless stars. There are many high-definition telescopes nowadays. The pictures taken show countless layers of stars. Humanity and heaven resonate with one another. Heaven, earth, and humanity are interconnected. In 1976, a huge meteor shower occurred in China's Jilin province. A meteor that didn't burn up hit the ground. It was bigger than a manhole cover. A meteor that big burns up as it plunges with great speed through the atmosphere to Earth, creating a large crater where it lands like a small atomic bomb. Luckily, it didn't land near any houses, and no one was killed. Nobody was killed in that meteor shower. But what happened next? Check the history books. In 1976 in China, who died? First, Prime Minister Zhou Enlai, then Head of State Zhu De. Finally, Chairman Mao Zedong. After this, a natural disaster, an earthquake. When meteors fall from the heavens, the earth rumbles. The great 1976 Tanshan earthquake. Many events occurred. When the first emperor of ancient China, Qin Shi Huang, died, it was recorded that Mars, astrologically speaking, was located at Xin. Mars could be observed from Earth. Astrologically, it was a bad omen. Mars, as seen from Earth, had an unusual brightness and color. This was the astrological phenomenon at that specific time and orientation. At that time, astrologers employed by every government, including that of Europe, felt that this was harmful to the country. That year, the emperor died. Then, 200 years ago, there was the great Emperor Chan Long, a romantic who was well-versed in both literature and military affairs. His reign was one of the more prosperous eras in the last dynasty. He took his empress to visit Shandong province. They paid their respects at the Confucius Temple. As Confucius is the forefather of Chinese scholars. Then they planned to visit Mount Tai. His empress was sick at that time. The minister of astrology, who was very good at interpreting the heavens, warned him that there was an adverse astrological sign. Which was? A guest star had invaded the six stars. What does it mean that a new star, not there before, appeared among the six stars? This sign was thought to be bad for the emperor's household. Something did happen during that time. The empress's child died. So Chan Long thought that was what the sign warned of. But the minister said that the sign occurred after the death. Not long after, in March, the empress died. The death of an empress was a significant event at that time. Later, on the night before Emperor Chan Long died, a huge star with a long tail, called a comet, fell from the heavens. It caused a great noise and the earth shook. As it fell from the heavens and the force of the impact was huge, Emperor Chan Long died the next day. You see? The resonance between heaven and earth. When you see a sunset so beautiful, 
so spectacular that everyone wants to take a picture? Be very careful because a catastrophe is on the way. We are talking about the natural order of things, not any religion or superstition. Those who study astronomy or geology may understand. If you don't understand natural order but make claims regarding it, you are not looking at things scientifically. When the moon is beautiful and has an extremely beautiful halo, there will be an earthquake or tsunami. You can look for one video in which astronomers discussed the phenomenon I just mentioned, to the disbelief of reporters. The day before the recording, satellite imagery showed a huge cyclone. Satellite surveillance detected a typhoon that was yet to reach the South China Sea. The reporters were told to keep watch. However, the day before the cyclone was spotted, the sea had been unusually calm and the clouds, reflecting the sunlight, enchantingly beautiful. The next day, everything was the polar opposite. The sea was in turmoil, as though thousands of dragons were churning it. Waves hitting the rocks splashed dozens of meters high. The day before had been extremely beautiful and tranquil. Stillness taken to the extreme becomes motion. Beauty taken to the extreme creates sorrow. These two polar opposite natural phenomena occurred only hours apart. Go watch that video. It is called The Unheard of Story at Puto Mountain, The Mystery of the Path of the Strange Typhoon. This video was made recently. Modern science tries to understand natural phenomena. There are many patterns in nature that most people haven't observed. If, on August 15th of the lunar calendar, clouds obstruct the moon, it'll snow on the following lunar January 15th. It will be cloudy and rainy if you're in the south, and snowy if you're in the north. There is a poem-like proverb. Cloud-covered moon on the 15th of August begets lanterns in the snowfall on the 15th of January. You can find proverbs like this on Chinese calendars. Where do these sayings come from? The Chinese almanac. It is not superstition. Past government officials and emperors used almanacs to remind citizens to pay attention to these natural phenomena. So if the August full moon is obscured by clouds, you should wear more on the 15th of January. Wear a rain jacket and heavy boots because it is going to rain or snow. You may wonder how they are connected as they're months apart. My master had a stone turtle. It was from the Yellow River and was a gift. I don't know how many years he had it. The stone was round like a turtle shell, but it wasn't from a real turtle. Just like a real turtle, there was a grid pattern on it. It was smooth and shiny from being touched. My master sometimes would examine it after morning practice, counting the squares. If he found that there was moisture on the fourth square in the northeast quadrant, He would say it would rain in four days in the northeast. If it was going to rain where we were, there would be moisture in the center. It was always accurate. Later on, I moved to Guangzhou, where I would examine my pet turtle. Many people kept turtles in their bathrooms as pets. They are easy to care for as they don't need the sun. When I shared this phenomenon with turtle owners, 
they said their grandmothers had told them the same thing. If they wanted to know tomorrow's weather, they would just check the turtle's shell. If they saw there was moisture or even dew on the shell, some of the old people could tell if it had rained that day or the next. Strange, right? Humanity, heaven, earth, and oceans are interconnected. You may wonder how an important leader's death is connected to the stars. Now this comes back to what my master told me. My child, don't be scared. You are not alone. See how many stars there are in the sky. You have that many beings keeping you company. How can you be lonely? I remember asking later, Master, am I a human or a star in the sky? He said, This is interesting. You might have come from the sky. Many people transform into humans from other beings. You may think it is miraculous, but it's not miraculous at all. When you see through this law, you will realize that human life is cyclical. Look at our ladder-like DNA. The bottom rung represents Earth and the top one, Heaven. It cycles through. There is nothing special about it. The ocean water appears heavy, but the sun heats it and evaporates it into the sky. After enough accumulates, it falls back down again, right? Rain becomes drinking water and the rest is back to the ocean. The sun heats it and it rises into the sky again. Life is like that too. Heaven, earth, and humans are interconnected. So when we have a kind heart and kind thoughts, and our hearts slowly start to radiate illumination, just like the Medicine Buddha's vows, when the compassion in my heart radiates illumination, it will illuminate my body, the world, and all beings. So all other beings will become illuminated and translucent, and they too will radiate light to illuminate the world. What an auspicious and wonderful visualization! When you visualize this, your heart is connected to the heavens. Deities used to want to teach you a lesson, but when you're connected to the divine, you are connected with deities who love you. Wow, even this guy is enlightened and knows to love all beings. Many caring deities will come immediately to protect you. Since you might become a future Buddha, that's huge. It'd be a fundamental transformation. Such as that from a slave to a general or a mundane person to a deity. The process is like this. So when you really radiate compassion from your heart, you will shake and move heaven and earth. In the play Snow in Midsummer, it snowed in June. It is normal. Whether you are so badly wronged or you are so compassionate that it hits an extreme, it can shake the heavens. When Buddha first turned the wheel of Dharma and spread the Dharma, the earth shook. The profound human heaven resonance is not fully understood with our current wisdom. So we should maintain a compassionate heart every day as we face and deal with everything. Oh, 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 oh,
看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈。天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红。看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠。卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈。天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，卡地索哈，天。
นทอพองไปคันเจไปคันเจมหาไปคันเจลันจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทอพองไปคันเจไปคันเจมหาไปคันเจลันจะสามุกัดิสุขเดินทอพองไปคันเจไปคันเจ Maha Kanje, Lanta Samu, Kade Soha, Dienta Hong Be Kanje, Be Kanje, Maha Kanje. Lanta samu, kade soha, dien ta hong be kan je, be kan je, ma ha be kan je, lanta samu. Kade soha, dien ta hong be kan je, be kan je, ma ha be kan je, lan ta samu. Kade soha. Dien ta hong be kan je, be kan je, ma ha be kan je, lan ta samu, ka de so ha. Dien ta. Hong be kan je, be kan je, ma ha be kan je, lan ta samu, ka de so ha, dien ta hong be kan je. Be kan je, ma ha be kan je, lan ta samu, ka de so ha, dien ta hong be kan je, be kan je. Maha be kan je, lan ta samu, ka de so ha, dien ta hong be kan je, be kan je, maha be kan je. Lan ta samu, ka de so ha, dien ta hong be kan je, be kan je, ma ha be kan je, lan ta samu. 
มหาเพยคันเจลนจะสามุกาดิสุขเปลี่ยนทหองเปยคันเจเปยคันเจมหาเพยคันเจลนจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางไปคันเจไปคันเจมหาไปคันเจหลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางเบคันเจมหาเบคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางเบคันเจเบคันเจมหาเพยคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางเบยคันเจเบยคันเจมหาเพยคันเจจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางไปคันเจไปคันเจมหาไปคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางไปคันเจไปคันเจมหาเพยคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางไปคันเจไปคันเจมหาเพยคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางเบคันเจมหาเบคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางไปคันเจเบคันเจมหาเพยคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินทางไปคันเจเบคันเจมหาเพยคันเจลานจะสามุกาดิสุขเดินท
Hong Lanza Samu 
方，被看见，被看见，马被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈。天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠。卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈。天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠，卡地索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，蓝色沙漠
Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha bei kan ze Lan ta sa mu Kade soha Dien ta Hong bei kan ze Bei kan ze Maha 
被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，扎沙漠。大地所哈，天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，大地所哈。天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂。看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠。嘎地索哈，天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈。天堂被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，嘎地索哈，天堂。
通被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，兰扎萨木，卡德索哈。天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见。乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠。卡德索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈。天堂红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂。红被看见，被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂红被看见。被看见，马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡德索哈，天堂红被看见，被看见。马哈被看见，乱扎沙漠，卡
大慈大悲的佛陀，天地间最尊贵的觉者，我以至真、至纯之心，感恩您的降临，使你。走出荆棘，是你的妙法，让我身心安康。是你的博爱，让我还能。是追随，我愿千万次轮回。
的教化，让我得以觉醒。我愿千万次轮回。Now it's time for our closing exercise. Remain in a seated position, legs crossed. The upper body slowly stretches forward. The arms naturally extend forward. Reach the forehead to the floor. Pause. Do it according to your ability. This exercise can relieve. Pain and pressure in the legs. Turn the body to the left. The arms extend forward. The chest reaches to touch the left thigh. Then move the torso to the right. The arms extend forward, and the chest reaches for the right thigh. Then bring the chest between the leg, still reaching down. Pause. 
Then, slowly sit up. Place both hands on your knees and rotate the upper body to the left, stretching the bones and muscles of the waist. Then rotate to the right. The waist is comfortably stretched. Extend the legs forward naturally. Move them a little. Taking care not to touch anyone around you. Then sit comfortably. Rub your palms until they're warm. Glide your palms over your face from chin to forehead to cheek without actually touching them. Visualize beautiful flowers and a serene lake. Rub your palms until they're warm. Part your fingers and firmly comb your hair from forehead to the back of the neck. Visualize that your mind is becoming clear, wise, and orderly. Rub your palms until they're warm. Cup your palms over your eyes. Feel energy from your palms nourishing your eyes. Your eyes are clear and bright like a serene lake. Your vision improves. With your index and middle fingers, gently brush your eyelids from the inner corners of your eyes to the outer corners. Brush away the negative energy in your eyes. Your eyes are bright. With the edge of your index fingers, gently press the eye sockets. To relieve the fatigue in the eyes. Rub your palms until they're warm. With your index fingers, press both sides of your nose from the bridge to the base. And then rub both sides of the nose. Your breathing becomes smoother. Open your mouth wide three times. Mm. 
Rub your palms until they are warm. Use your thumbs and index fingers to rub every part of your ears. Pay attention to the painful areas. Massage them more. Then, gently pull your ears outward a few times. Now, gently pull the lobes downward a few times. Rub your palms until they're warm. First, use your left palm to rub the back of your neck. Rub it back and forth until it feels warm. and a little damp from perspiration. Then rub your palms until they're warm. Use your right palm to rub the back of your neck. your head slightly lowered. Run your fingers along the cervical spine, pushing from the bottom up. Rub your palms. Pat your entire body from top to bottom. Pat your head firmly with relaxed wrists. Do it calmly. Visualize that your body is like an old blanket hanging out in the sun. Wherever your hands pat, Dust drifts away and disappears into the air. Pat your left shoulder. Then pat your right shoulder. Continue to pat your chest. Then pat your left armpit down to the side of your ribcage. Switch to the right. Pat your right armpit down to the side of your ribcage. Next, pat your abdomen with relaxed hands. Please stand up slowly. Pat down from the front of your thighs knees, shins, ankles, and tops of your feet. 
pat with some force. Older people may pat more gently as needed to avoid hurting themselves. Gently pat the lower back. Down to the buttocks. Down to the back of your thighs. Calves, ankles, and heels. Maintain your visualization. Wherever your hands pat, dust drifts away. Continue to pat the inside and outside of your legs. Start with your left leg. Relax your wrists and pat with slight force. Then pat your right leg. Continue to pat your arms. Start with your left arm. Pat each side of the arm. Maintain your visualization. Wherever your hands pat, dust drifts away. Then pat your right arm. After patting your entire body, rub your palms. Gently massage your whole body without actually touching it. Visualize that you are gently sweeping away the dust and worries. You are becoming healthy and happy. At the same time think, I'm closing this meditation practice. Jump on the spot, turning around at the same time. The energy is evenly distributed in your body. You are healthy and full of life. Today's class has successfully completed. See you tomorrow.